So Nathan Swant has responded again to the last videos that we've been making about him where he said that minusing you was a plus. And people in the comments were saying, were you talking about Jeffree Star? Well, Nathan went live again today singing that song. Minusing you was a plus. Okay. To further add fuel to the flame, we're gonna talk about that in this video. Let's get on with this drama. What's going on everyone? It's Rich Lex. In today's video, girl, you won't believe the drama. Okay, girl, we're gonna talk about Nathan Swant. Je <laughs> Jeffree Star's ex-boyfriend. Nathan Swant is at it again, girl. And I was just like, I got the I got the screenshots. I have all the receipts and deleted tweets. You already know. Ain't no scandal I can't handle. Come here for all the tea all the time. Okay, so Nathan Swant went live. He was like, I guess driving or hanging out, or whatever. And what's so interesting about, about the whole situation is that like he was there was like these long dramatic pauses and then he would say something. So I took one screenshot and I thought it was like very telling because again he can't do anything without people mentioning Jeffree Star. God forbid he lives his life and can just move on and just do whatever. Nope, people always wanna bring it up to hell. So here's this little, little clip right here. And it says, I miss watching you and Jeffree. And that was from 50 Shades of Anta. Well, of course, like no picture. Like that, every time I see profiles like this, like this, I had like no picture on it. I'm like, okay, well, who, who is it? Like, very quickly, this video is sponsored the house by adamandeve.com. You can use my code LUX to save 50% off on adamandeve.com. That's right, free shipping to the United States and Canada. Plus, it comes in discreet packaging, so you don't have to worry about what people are looking at when you get it. So use code LUX for 50% off, and a portion of the proceeds goes to help fight and find a cure for HIV and AIDS. I love companies that also give back. And I will say this, and I've been saying this for a long time, it's not all about the adult toys on adamandeve.com. They have amazing lingerie for men and women silk pajamas I love those definitely check those out like I said use code LUX for 50% off one item exclusions do apply and free shipping so thank you Adam Neighbors for watching this video let's get on with this drama who has an Instagram account and just has like no picture like it's some, it's like whenever like you guys down there comment and it's just like the letter R or L or like whatever it's like there's no picture like girl put a picture of like little hello kitty girl you know like, it's just like a P, you know? Because it's, it's like whatever the first letter is of that name, it's just like a blue and like a whatever, right? So I'm just like, girl, put a little Hello Kitty, leave a little hate comment, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like something cute with a little hate, I hate this video. Like something, because when it's just like a blank profile that says, I hate this video, I just don't take it seriously. But if it was like Hello Kitty one, I hate this video, I would take it more seriously. So I'm just like, girl, do that. Just, it's just my, like, you done made all this effort to create a fake account but yet you don't have any effort to post a picture. Girl, it doesn't have to be you because you want to give yourself away, but like, God forbid, but post a picture of like, I don't know, McDonald's hamburger or like a Louis Vuitton bag or like a Rolls Royce or so something that interests you. Post picture of something, or some Pokemon Jigglypuff, something. It's just a Snorlax or a troll. You get it because you're leaving troll comments, leave a troll, whatever. So I just kind of felt like upon further, investigation i'm like is this a troll because majority of the comments were like hi i'm from arizona hi from houston hi from texas hi from dubai um hey nate stuff like that and then you got that one with no picture i miss watching you and jeffrey anyway so i was i was in the live you know because they, they just want them to block me. I'm blocked. My fat ass is blocked. <laughs> but you know, block me on, make a little fake account, girl, okay? <laughs> I made my fake account. I don't know why people block me. I just go make a little fake account. So I have a little troll account. And I was over there. I saw that he went live. I was like, oh, get on, let me get on my fake account. And I was watching the thing. And so I saw someone comment. <laughs> I miss watching you and Jeffrey. And I was like, well, hold on. Is he going to say anything? Is he going to is he gonna respond? Well, then he responded. Like, like someone commented. Comments, 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 comments. And then he was like, hell no. He mumbled something. But let's, let's roll it back. Honestly, you was a prutz. Okay. Okay. So then I'm thinking like, well, was that a response to that comment? Or was it a response to another comment, 
right? But they, but some of them were like, hi, how are you doing? Like, so it couldn't be those, right? So it's just very interesting of like what comment went to where, right? So I'm going to roll it to you. What with the receipts I have, I don't know if I can play it all because of music, but if, you know, because he had music playing in the car, so I don't want to get copyrighted, so I might just play like another song over it, but maybe you can read the chat or read his lips or something, but anyways, here we go. Here we go, Rolly. Okay, and we're back. Let me know what you think about all that. What's going on? Let me know what you think about what he said. Do, do you find it weird? Do you find anything shady? To me, it was too much of a long, dramatic pause. But I will say this. I think that, like, Nathan, and I said it again, if he doesn't want to be known as, you know, Jeff for Star's ex-boyfriend, and I think they really did care for each other, both of them, like, truly wholeheartedly, how are you going to be with somebody for like seven years and not like care for them? Of course, I think there was something there between them. But if he ro really wants to distance himself away from that relationship, he has to do something. When I think of Jeffree Star, I think of makeup. I think of Jeffree Star, I think of like rich bitch, you know, you know, the millionaire stare and all that stuff like that. But when I think of Nathan, I think of Jeffree Star, you know? When I think of Elon Musk, I think of technology, money, Tesla, investments, right? Um, stocks, stuff like that. But like, Ethan needs to break away from that and he will only do that if he does something right he has to, we have to do, like, do a music video do, do a, a clothing line and be consistent with the clothing line because he did one and it was like one drop and that was it like be consistent with that stuff so I don't know like do something like the thing is like be a motivational speaker or something I don't know write a book I don't know do something who knows but maybe he can maybe he's under like such strict like like NDAs and contracts or maybe he can't so I don't know but like do something I mean I never understood why he didn't just have it I mean literally Nathan was dating Jeffrey freaking M star okay a few, at that time like if you google like top 10 most paid youtubers Jeffrey star is up there in top five top three at that time and you're gonna tell me that you are dating somebody who was literally making like millions of dollars off YouTube within like the top five people in the planet on YouTube making most bank, and you never started your own channel. It it, it didn't have to be makeup. You could, you could anything. They start a channel, and it doesn't matter if you're not pulling millions of views like Jeffrey was. At least you're doing your own thing, staying in your own lane. Like do something. That always that always like mind blow me. Like hey babe, do you mind if I like I don't know review makeup from a, a straight man's point of view or something or just I don't know something or I don't know it just mind blows me how come he didn't do something it's, it's literally like one of those people and there are many people like this in life like they're like that lightning strikes right it doesn't happen every day and you don't seize the moment and for me it struck multiple times for Nathan in his life and he's just like I'm not gonna comment on it because I don't know too much about the situation but it's just like some people are just given so many opportunities and some people can't even get a break to save their life. Some people can't even catch a break 
to save their life. And then some people have so many breaks and they're just like, eh, eh. And that's kind of like, what's going on here? Anyways, I'll let you guys go. Let me know what you think about that drama in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. I love you so much.